Welcome back. A settlement is in the works between several states, including New York, and a major opioid company and its owners. Law enforcement officials from states across the country say these pharmaceutical companies knew their products were addictive and pushed doctors to prescribe them anyway. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has the latest on the $4.5 billion deal. The perpetrators who created this crisis are villains for the history books. And that's where Purdue Pharma and the Sacklers belong. That's what Massachusetts Attorney General Maura Healy had to say about the opioid manufacturers who have declared bankruptcy. Attorney General Letitia James says the family and their business has misused the courts and tried to shield their misconduct that contributed to the opioid crisis. James says New York State is expected to receive at least $200 million out of the resolution. It will also close the company for good and require millions of pages of evidence to be disclosed. She says while some are asking why she'd accept the deal, there's no perfect solution. I don't think any of us will say that this deal is perfect, but we can't let perfect be the enemy of the good. We can't let perfect be the enemy of getting results. This agreement follows the $230 million Johnson & Johnson opioid settlement that was announced by James a couple weeks ago. The governor also signed legislation to create an opioid settlement fund to go toward prevention and treatment. This is money communities will be able to count on to deal with opioid addiction instead of going into the state's general fund. The state also can't use money from the lockbox to reduce state or federal funding towards the effort. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.